Hi guys, Fuzz here, welcome back to Final Fantasy IX. And we're actually continuing on with D305, which is the section of a Thomas's Excalibur 2 Perfect Game walkthrough that we were doing in the last episode. But, and I know the episode itself didn't end up that long, about 15, 20 minutes or so. But because that was basically me restarting things over and over again to get the right chocographs, to get the promised rings at the right prices, etc, etc. It actually took me a lot of time, quite a few hours to do all that. So I did need a break before continuing on and finishing this off with today's episode, which is really just looting. But we're also going to be getting the Ocean Chocobo and that occurs near the end. So stay tuned for that. To start with though, we're just going to go around quite a few of these gates and loot the treasures that are found within. So head to this first one here where there's three treasures we can find. And there's a Moogle hiding down there. But there's no Magnet or anything to do with that. So I haven't neglected doing anything. We just don't need to speak to him. Okay, so once we're back outside, we're going to chock a bow up again, as they say. Did I just go back into that place? I must remember, and a little tip, when you get off your chock a bow, leave a few feet distance between, you know, yourself, the chock a bow, and the... Um, place that you're going into because otherwise you keep flipping going back into them when you don't mean to uh, head past the village of Darley and down here we can see another gate and it's another gate that needs looting only a couple of items this time and I think exciting but we do need to get them uh, while we're here and look at me again just parking my chocobo right outside asking for trouble Hey, mounted it okay this time. Okay, so we're looking for an obstacle on the mountain. It's actually on the other side here. Just so I can get my bearings. There it is. And we're just going up and over that. And then down the other side. And there's another gate. So we need to go in and loot this one. And in fact, you can see the rainbow at this gate. But you can only see this rainbow. It looks very pretty at this particular moment in the game when you've got the blue Narcissus. So once you lose this ship, then that is no longer available for viewing in this area. I don't know why that is, but that's just the way things go. Right, so next up, we're going to head into Gizmaluk's Grotto. Look at me going back into the gate. And I thought I'd actually parked relatively far enough away then, but obviously not. Try that again, shall we? Okay, we're going into the grotto, but we're not going in through the main entrance. We're going in through the top entrance since it gives us instant access to the Moogles, which is exactly what we need. So ignore the door. And then just up here you can see the forest, and this is where the secret entrance is. There's also some nasty dragons you can fight up here. Uh, but obviously we don't want to do that at the moment because we're not levelling up. So go into the grotto, pop down the vine, and you'll get a unique item for handing in your first Koopo nut of the disc. Back outside, I did have to reload at one point, so I will just have to go to the chocograph menu again. Um, you need to set the Forbidden Forest as your chocograph. Now remember, you cannot find chocographs in the world map if you don't have the hint showing on the screen and just down here and in the center of this forest is the first chocograph of two that we're collecting today okay and that's one of the two as well that we collected in the last episode from the choco forest and then go ahead and select green plains and we're going to head there in a moment but before we do that there's one more gate we can go and loot it's a gate we've been to before northern gate and it's a chest that we couldn't yet, uh, or we couldn't access, uh, sorry, it's south gate, not north. Uh, but we couldn't access the chest on this too. But now we can. That's all we need to do from this place. And now go back onto Chaco. And make your way over to the Green Plains Chocograph. Make sure you've got that selected. 
And this is the one that's going to upgrade Choco to the Ocean Choco. Now we've got a nice blue Choco. How wonderful. And what we're going to do is head to the northern continent. Since we're going to be making our way over to the Black Mage Village. And obviously this is the way we go to get there. There it is. So we're just coming here to watch some scenes. To get ready to start button mashing. There's a scene when we go in. We follow Vivi to the cemetery. Another scene. Then go to the Choco stable. Another scene. Into the Choco house. Another scene. Then we can leave. Okie dokie, so we're done in Black Mage Village, now we're going to be making our way back onto Choco and heading east. And we're looking for some uh, weird sand thingy majigs over on the east hand side. And we're just going to go over there so that we can leave and save at that point. So there's these strange sinkholes. And they're where the desert goes light, so here's the light desert. And there they are, and that brings us to the end of D305. It's been a long one, this says for me, so I'm glad to see the back of this. Uh, but save your game, and we're done. Uh, but mainly because those promised rings we collected in the last episode, uh, they're like a bonus item, if you like. So we have lost time, but it is like 20 minutes to get those promised rings, and that's not included in the time on the Thomas's walkthrough. But even so, we're still pretty good. On time as you can see here we're 8 hours and 3 minutes the target time is 8 hours 16 minutes so we're still 13 minutes or so uh, ahead of schedule despite adding the 20 minutes on for getting the promise rings as well but thanks for stopping by today folks i hope you've enjoyed watching this particular episode and if it's helped you don't forget to leave a like and share your times as well in the comments section I always enjoy uh, reading those uh, but yeah i look forward to seeing you again soon for d306